Well, good morning everybody and welcome to Northern Spain. This place is absolutely stunning. I've got up early to get out and have a little wander around because uh, we arrived in last night, late last night, um, to Santander. Uh, we've got a flight out of Birmingham, about an hour and 40 minutes. 20 minutes away from the airport in Santander, we come straight to this beautiful beach and beautiful hotel that we're staying at. I thought I'd go out for a little stroll and uh, catch up with you all um, to share with you what we're going to be up to on this what I call fam trip and it's called a familiarization trip and this is a, a type of trip where well, I've been invited on it this is a type of trip that would um, if you're booking a holiday and the company that you're let's say booking it through they need to get themselves familiar with the location that they're going to be sending you on because ultimately you're going to have questions about the location you're going to have questions about local restaurants, local hotels, obviously the golf courses that you're going to go and play so what they do is they invite out these guys that book these trips and I've come out here this week with uh, Mark Catton from Golfing Days and we're going to get a bit of an idea of what this place has to offer it's new on his list so he's never done northern Spain before he's always done sort of southern Spain Portugal, places like that, but uh, but never here. So he's obviously excited to see what kind of happens. Um, like I said, we got in late last night. We headed down to the local bars just around the corner from here, um, just to get a bite, bite to eat, and we had some fantastic tapas. Calamari, some of my favorite, and it is absolutely stunning. But we're here, I'm here, because of Severiano Ballesteros. Now, I've got to say, Sevi wasn't necessarily my hero growing up. He was my dad's hero. And um, more because they were actually both born on April 9th, uh, different years, but April 9th was their birth date. So obviously they had something in common there. So dad obviously uh, was attracted to him because of that, but also because of his golf, his flamboyant effort around the golf course. And obviously he's a major champion, very opinionated when it came to helping move European golf on and was massively involved in the change from in the Ryder Cup. So we're going to be heading over to Pradrena, which is, and I'm, if I, please excuse my pronunciation to these places, as I'm new to it, I'm, uh, I'm going to learn as we kind of go along. But we're going over to Pradrena, which is his old home golf course where he learned how to play, where he got his kind of ticket forward, really, by, and we'll talk about that some stage but our first round of golf today is going to be at a different venue one of which he designed in this local area around 25 30 minutes away from from Santander so looking forward to getting out there and seeing it following his footsteps and uh, yeah we'll see we'll see how we get on let's get golf great drive that so good absolutely perfect. best shot of the day well, first destination, Santa Marina Golf Club. I have no idea about this golf course. All I know is Seve designed it, put it together back in, I think it opened in around 2000, early 2000s. What do I expect from it? Well, looking around, it looks absolutely spectacular. The clubhouse looks amazing. There's some lovely pictures of Seve all in around the clubhouse area in there. I'm expecting to see maybe a little bit of Generosity off the tee, because as we know, if you know Seve, you will have known that he was a little wayward when it came to tee shots and whacking it off the tee. And then I think you're going to need some um, some feel, some ideas, some imagination around the greens, because I think the greens are going to be, well, just looking at the 18th hole here now, I think there's going to be lots of runoff. If you're a little bit wayward off the tee, I think this golf course is going to be able to still play well for you however i think when it comes to the greens if you've had a little bit too much red wine the night before then it might find you out Well, we're having a lovely day, aren't we? Super day, mate. Super 13 day. 13 holes in, around 
well, quite possibly one of the best golf courses, potential golf courses I've ever played. Yeah, yeah, absolutely stunning. I mean, I didn't know what to expect when we got here. We've been told by the DMC what, what to expect, and yeah. you're never quite sure because they're selling the product to you, and we've got here, and this has potential to be up there one of the best courses you could possibly play. I mean, from a tightness point of view, I mean, it is tight, isn't it? Yeah. In areas, you've yeah. got to really pick where your tees are, and what I love about this golf course, just playing around it, is the tee positions are all marked with the yardage rather than the colours. Yeah. So it means if you want to play off the front tee, which is marked at, let's say, 4,000 metres, should we say, um, you can play it to that, and the golf course is, is designed to be played off those different tee boxes, yeah. which, is, which is a great way of, um, I think, certainly for holiday golf. Definitely. I think that works really well, because yeah. if you go out the night before and drink the red wine and enjoy yourself... Yeah. And it's easy to do over here. Easily done with tapas and yes. things like that. Yep. Um, you can just pop yourself forward and have a, just an enjoyable round. But from your point of view, it, it kind of works. It does. It, it works. It's a really, really good setup. I enjoyed, I've enjoyed the first 13 holes. I've not played particularly well. You've played superbly well. Um, I can see why Seve lost nine balls here the first time he, he played it. Uh, I've lost four so far, uh, so nine's easy around here with Seve's wild tee shots. But yeah, this is, this is some golf course. I'm looking forward to seeing what the six following holes have got to offer us. And from, again, from your point of view, when you, you know, when you were to bring, if you were to bring a tournament here, so you, I mean, you've got some of the best players that, that play regionally, that come yep. and play in all your pro-ams. Um, I mean, they're going to they're going to find it tough off the Seve tee as well, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, off the off the the fifty fives yeah, as they're called right here, off the, backs. off the backs. That's that's a tough ass round here. You know, you've got to, you're going to have to play it a couple of times to get to know it. It's going to yeah. it's going to need a practice round or two, it really will, yeah. or a, or a pacing of the course. Yeah. So yeah, not sure we're going to be seeing the ten under pars round here. No, I don't think twenty seven under over three holes <laughs> would uh, would uh, take the spoils here. I <laughs> not think, at all. I think you're probably looking at five or six. Yeah. What are you thinking? Absolutely right. Yeah, yeah. But fantastic golf course, fantastic experience, and yeah. uh, I'm. Very happy that we've come out here and played together. Well, let's, uh, let's finish off the last few hours, shall we? Yeah, yeah, see what we can do. Eighteenth hole doesn't get much, well, much more spectacular than this one. 223 yards off the Seve tee at the back here. We've not been playing the Seve tees all the way around. We've been nudging ourselves forward just to have an enjoyable day. However, we're going to go for it, aren't we, Mark? Yeah, we're going to have a crack at this. Slightly downwind, three iron for me, hybrid for Mark. Let's have a little nearest the pin to finish, shall we? Oh yes, best shot today, go on, go. Gotta go. Go. Gotta go. Go. Oh, I don't know where, I don't even know what that is there. <laughs> that is damp. Oh, don't overcut. No, that's got to get older. Catch a sliver. Yeah, Catch fine, a sliver. Fine, fine, fine. Oh. Right. Well, I feel a little bit hard done by it. He's managed to get it. On. He's got it on the green. I think you better check that ball, but I think it's got a scuff in it because I reckon it's hit the cart path and uh, popped up onto the green because there's no real pitch mark. Scuff mark confirmed. Is there? It is. There it is. Well done. Good. Thank you. Good little win that. Well done, good Dan. win. Well done. <laughs> Well, what a fantastic day we've had at Santa Marina Golf. I'll be honest with you, not really the type of golf course that I kind of expected Seve to put together because it's tight. It's really tight. The only thing that is kind of, I would, I think, unique about this course is the way in which he's created contours and everything around the greens. Now, as we know, Seve had an amazing short game. If you go into the clubhouse or the pro shop, They've actually moulded his hands, like talk about Spanish hands, Seve hands, he's got them there in the pro shop. And you have to have an amazing imagination to play this golf course around the greens. So if you miss the greens, you've got to be able to have a short game to be able to, um, to save your score, really. Fantastic golf course. But uh, anyway, time to uh, head back to the hotel, get a bite to eat, maybe a little glass of wine, and then get ready for tomorrow. Howdy, howdy. Tone, we have arrived on the beach, the location of where Seve used to do all of his training, 
all yes. his practice. Yes. Tell us a little bit about it then, Tone. I mean, you're obviously yeah. a huge Seve fan. The project's been on the road for a little while, but what we're doing is putting tours together yeah. that play Seve's courses, these design courses and the home course yeah. here in Pedrenia over there. But one of the things that we do as a really exclusive thing is bring golfers before they play Pedrenia, his home, yeah. is to the very beach when he was supposed to be in school and practice and play some shots like Seve did with a free iron from these very dunes we're standing in. Well, this is pretty cool tone, isn't it? Yeah, this a is little, a nice spot. Nice man. little spot. It, what it does, it gives the public a chance to read, you know, what Seve was about and because at Santa Marina, as you know, we've got his four metre bronze statue there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a very private club. Yeah. The same as Pedrenia here. So yeah. this is this is what the people of Pedrenia wanted. Okay. And this is where the people of Pedrenia and tourists passing can come with, you know, if they can't get onto the, the prestigious golf courses we've got of Seves. So. And obviously what they've done here is they've laid out kind of all of his victories, yeah, of all the victories, all tour yeah. victories, all yeah. things, and then and then some bits at the bottom here, These which are, are like awards, his awards, accolades, yeah. things, accolades, that, yeah. 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 Um, so talking about like different honors that he's got and ambassador roles and things like that, but um, but 1984 was the British Open, wasn't it, at St Andrews, yeah, that he took the title on, yeah, and the it was famous. obviously a big, big thing for him, wasn't it, because oh, yeah, we've got the Swilkin Bridge behind us. We've got this beautiful picture of St Andrews there as well. That's it. Winning the Open at St Andrews for these major winners, yeah. it's the biggest thing, isn't it? 100%. For Seve, uh, the Open, that was his biggest dream, to win the Open. Do you think that's why the Brits warmed to him so much? Was it because of that? Manuel Ballesteros, his brother as well, was a pro, yeah. tour pro, and Seve. They love the British public. Yeah. They love the British golf. And because of the rapport that they had with that, they spent so much time in, yeah. in the UK yeah. playing golf. Yeah. And, that, and then they gave so much time to people, whether it was interviews or whatever. I mean, anything that went on in our country, in the yeah. UK, Seve would be there. Yeah. And that's where you know, everything built. The, the relationship with, with the, golf, the, the golf community in the UK was massive. And even Manuel Ballesteros today, he speaks about it and he wants to come back and how they love Britain. The wall. I want to get to the oh, wall. We've yeah. got to get, we got to, get yeah. to the wall. In fact, we've got to climb. Can we climb? Do you think we can sneak over? Yeah, climb over the sneak wall? Over. Sneak yeah, over listen, the wall? Yeah, listen. Seve sneaked over. Yeah, so yeah. Let's sneak over. <laughs> yeah, let's 100%. It. Come on, mate. <laughs> you ever used to do this as a kid, Tone? Jump over walls to get into places? Yeah, the places I wouldn't like to tell you about. <laughs> <laughs> East End boy. There it is. This is it. Isn't Here's it? The spot. This is the tree. This is the spot. Yeah. We used to jump over a wall to go golf ball hunting. Yeah. Back at my old club. Why not? So, um, and I remember getting caught once with a, like a massive bag full of golf balls. And I remember that a member coming up to me goes, those, go those golf balls are, uh, are property of the professional golfer. You need to go and hand them into the pro shop back at the club. Did you? No. <laughs> Just carry on. Yes, sir. Carry on with your yes, business. Sir. Moving yeah. on, moving on. A life in I, golf, eh? I had 30 golf balls to go and uh, smash around the golf course. It was fine with me. <laughs> Why not? So this is it. This, this is the is wall. It. This, this is, is it, the Dan. This yeah. is, this is um, a great part of the journey, a great part of the experience. Yeah. Just to understand, I mean, we're not going to have golfers, every golfer coming here jumping over the wall. No, no, no. But it, it gives you the opportunity and the golfing community all over the world who love Seve. Yeah. To, to see the very point when he was a boy where he'd jump over. Yeah. I mean, private members golf club. I mean, he, he, I know he was a caddy here and, and yeah. his brothers were professionals, caddies and things yes. like that here as well. So he wasn't really allowed in there, was he, to be playing golf? He wasn't allowed in at all, no. no. It was, um, yeah, ser seriously um, a prestigious golf course. Yeah. Uh, Real Padreña. Yeah. Uh, battles in the top three with Valderrama. And, sort and of Grande and all yeah, that. Yeah, sort of like, Grande, yeah. yeah. So it's a big, they wasn't, they wasn't allowed to be here, but Seve would come over on full moons, especially. Yeah. He'd be on here all night. And his family didn't know he was climbing out his bedroom window. Really? And, and hitting balls, and in the dark. Right, I'm going to hop over this wall. I'm going to see if I can get over there. Yeah, go on, mate. Like let me spring, check this. Like a spring let, chicken. Let me check this on no members the other side, all yeah? Right, you do that. And here we are. The golf course. 
But I don't think it's right that we should be actually hopping over the wall. Let's go and use the main entrance and get in and have a look at the clubhouse. Selfies, always having their selfies. This is absolutely spectacular. So we've wandered out onto Seve's nine holes. This is what he designed. You've obviously got the main course over the back there, and then you've created this on this spare land that they had. Seve designed his own what par three course. There's a two par fours out here, but absolutely breathtaking, spectacular backdrop with the water behind. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, as far as par three course, I know it's not fully a far par three course, yeah. I think it's six par threes, two par fours and a par five. Yeah, exactly. But the first four par threes I've seen are just Beautiful. absolutely spectacular. Against the estuary, blue skies, backdrop of the mountains. I mean, this is some golf course. Uh, and the only day we've not got our golf clubs out, Dan, which is really frustrating. Can't believe we're flying home today. I know, what a shame. Well, why don't you just stay? Yeah, <laughs> just, just stay. Place. Isn't that what you just did? You just came over here and just stayed? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 11 years ago, yeah. <laughs> 11 years ago. Talk about maintenance. I mean, they have gone deep with their maintenance on this golf course. But I suppose in some golf courses, when you get quality like this, you need to go and hollow core and sand your fairways and get all of that sorted out. At home, we normally just get our greens done, don't we? Yeah, it's the extra mile, isn't it? It's the extra bit. And it won't take long for this golf course to recover because of the weather. It takes it, it just flips back pretty quickly. Harry Colt designed golf course yes. back in 1928. 1928, Harry Colt, yeah. yeah assigned by the, uh, the royal family. Okay. And, Which um, is why it's Real, Real. Royal. Yeah, Real. Real, Real, yeah. Real Padreña. Yeah. yeah. And um, seriously, a private members club. Yeah. Um, we are now partners with Costa Verde Golf. We are the exclusive handlers and DMCs here. Right. That with, with Pedrenia put, uh, we're in, you know, we're, they're in our safe hands. Wow, what a fantastic trip this has been. Gotta say, I've, like I said before at the beginning of this video, I was not really a, a Seve wasn't my hero, um, like he probably is to so many of you out there. And I think, certainly if you are a Seve fan, it's definitely a trip you need to be putting on your little bucket list. For me personally, when it comes to a golf trip, I like culture. I like to get in and amongst the kind of locals of wherever I'm visiting and certainly to get an opportunity to stay in Santander, to get out around the city and eat the local food, drink the local wine. For me, that kind of really ticks the boxes of a golf trip. Resort courses, fantastic obviously, and staying all inclusive might tick the boxes for you guys, but this is definitely worth a trip at some point if you're looking to visit Spain. Well, I hope you like what you're seeing from our videos. Don't forget if you're new to the channel and you like what you're seeing, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all again very soon.